Hey, Jerry, this is uh, Jordan LaBarbera with Bills.com. How are you? Doing great, man. How's it going? Good. Um, I want to ask you about the moment after Levi's interception. Uh, Soldier Boy's playing on the sideline. It looks like a party down there. How, uh, how rewarding is that for your defense to have that kind of moment on this stage? Oh, it's a lot of fun, man. I mean, just the amount of work that we put into this, you know, dating all the way back to April, doing a bunch of Zoom meetings, getting guys together, and, you know, Believing in coach, you know, coach always says the best time to play your best football is in December, you know. So we, those guys went out there and had a tremendous game. Our secondary, you know, you got to tip your hats to them just because of how well they prepared this week and it showed. And I'm so happy that everybody was able to get their hands on ball tearing with the pick six to get the party started. And then Levi, he brought it home, man. It was a tremendous play by him. Yeah, Micah said earlier this week, I think, that this year has been a gelling process more than most because you can't do things like hang off. Yeah, off man, the, definitely. And it was, it's kind of a culmination was, of all, was, all that. It was work going back and forth. You know, that, still, you're uh, chopping up, like you're breaking uh, up. Well, Say that one more time. It's today kind of like the culmination of all the gelling, that long process. Absolutely. It felt like it tonight. Just like Micah said, man, it's been really tough for us just because we have a set amount of hours that we can be in the building. And as a defensive player, we love to watch film together just to kind of get a feel for each other and just see how we communicate on and off the field. So it's been tough this year. But, you know, Coach McDermott and Coach Fraser have always preached, you know, it's not about how you play football in September. It's about how you play in December. And I think our secondary proved that tonight. You know, they had a great week of preparation and it showed, you know, getting their hands on balls and make it count and then get it in, into the end zone. That's one thing that Coach Frazier challenged us this week is that we, we were getting turnovers. He wanted to see somebody get in the end zone. And for Taryn to do that with that play, just because I've seen him work on the jugs machine, getting that ball and knowing what to do with it, it was great. And then you, just, you know Roethlisberger gets rid of the ball quicker than anyone in the league this year. What was the plan to try to disrupt that and get him off his game a bit? Oh, up front, we were going to keep rushing. I mean, we watched the tape on Ben. We know he's going to get the ball out quick. So Coach Washington said, just keep swinging. No matter what, no matter what's going on in the game, no matter where we're at on the field, we're going to keep going to that plate and we're going to swing big. And I, we did that as a front. You know, uh, we got a couple games out there that kind of were nice to do just to kind of put them out there on tape. But other than that, everybody was just worried about getting their one on ones and getting up the field fast. And I think it, it showed tonight. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Congrats. Yep. Thank you. Hey, Jerry, um, that play, can you hear me? Yep. I mean, that play that Taryn made, I mean, there's been some key moments this season, obviously, that are nine or 10 and three. Can you recall a bigger turning point type of play than that one was tonight? No, for this season, that was huge. I mean, just because of everything that we talked about throughout this week about getting our hands on the ball, we know Ben's going to get the ball out quick. Who's going to be the first person to get a turnover and for our secondary to come up big in the way that they did, not not only to get a turnover, but to add points on the board. That's something that we talk about as a defense. How can we help out our offense? And for those guys to do that, the way they played tonight, it was amazing. But they prepare that way. So I I expect them to do it every night. When you, when you watch the way that first half was going, offense struggling, the way they had really all year, guys on the sideline on defense, were you realizing this was going to be your game? This was the one you were going to have to win? I mean, every game's like that. But, you know, our offense told us, hey, we're struggling. Get us back. You know, so we, we did what we do best. It's just trying to find ways to force turnovers, get off the field, create a short field so they can catch any kind of momentum. We know we have a high-powered offense. And once they start going, it just starts steamrolling. So for us, it's just how can we aid them? And Josh and those guys took care of the rest. Great. Thanks, Jerry. Hey, uh, Jerry, Mike Catalana in Rochester. Back-to-back um, -back 10 win seasons on the edge of making the playoffs, cl clinching it again. When you think back to what it used to be like, do the, do the other guys on the team who haven't been around as long as you ever talk to you about that? And, and do you, like, forget about that now? I mean, this has sort of become the norm now for you guys. I know, man. It's becoming the norm, and I'm loving it. Uh, Lee Smith. Lee Smith is the only guy who's been on this team uh, – longer than me because he was drafted here. And so him and I, we always look at each other, you know, when we start to pull away and get these leads, we're like, okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So it's just, it's exciting to see our offense rolling the way they are. You know, they got a lot of firepower and it's been a lot of fun on 
defense, watching them put together those drives. The way Josh orchestrates everything, man, it's been a lot of fun. And I'm getting used to it. So I can't wait for next week. And, and getting used to it, another, another primetime game. I guess, does it, does it feel different? And when you win, does it feel different when you do it on the big stage? No. It feels, no. It feels the same way as if we're winning at 1 o'clock. You know, it's just you got to wait a, long, a little bit longer for the game to come around. But, you know, the guys in this locker room, we're excited to play. It doesn't matter if it's at 1, 4, or 8. They want to go out there and play football. And especially when we're at our home field, we want to put our best foot, like Dick said, we want to bring our best game. And everybody tries to do their best when they step on the field to uh, do so. So the results show Pittsburgh's a very tough team. We know we'll see them again. But, you know, whenever we are in our home field, gosh, how to bring it. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Are you my sweet, bro? Hey, Jerry, can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can. Thank you. Uh, we heard from Jordan a couple minutes ago that uh, – there's some dancing on your logo for the game that might have energized you a bit throughout the game. Is that something that you are aware of? <laughs> Jordan was dancing on the logo. No, I think uh, I think the Steelers players were. Really? So I'm guessing that wasn't something that you were. No, 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 no. They didn't make that. They didn't pass that word down to the D line. I guess they felt like they were going to handle it on the back end themselves, and I guess they did. Let me. Well, I mean, I during my, that, I after what was the energy like, I guess, on the sideline for you guys after that Levi yeah, Wallace interception? Because that was about as active as I think I've ever seen an entire sideline. It was election. I mean, we were happy for Levi. We were happy that we got the pick. It was just a bunch of emotions just overflowing. And, you know, the guys were yelling, Club 716 is open. It was a lot of fun on that sideline, man. It was just us having fun. Playing Bills ball, doing what we do. We're going to play hard every snap. Make it time to step on the field. You're going to get us at our best. So, I mean, it was just a lot of fun, and I'm happy that guys are having fun.